car jamming involves blocking car remotes by using a household remote because both remotes operate on a 400 megahertz frequency. Criminals then prevent the locking action of the car from being activated. In Namibia, criminals are known for using gate remote controls to steal valuable items such as laptops, cell phones and money out of vehicles. Earlier this week, a gang stole $25,000 from a vehicle in Vendup. According to the city police, three to four criminals are operating in the central business district, southern and northern industrial areas. That uh, don't carry a lot of cash. For the last three weeks, we had more than four cases where people lost their money. They went to the bank, withdraw the money, and they left the money in the car. On Wednesday, the city police caught four criminals red-handed stealing from a car after jamming it. Three of them ran away. We know them. We are going to pick them. But one was um, arrested and all items were recovered. For the past two years, city police managed to confiscate more than 200 gate remotes that were used in car jamming. In some cases, criminals also used spark plugs. Just um, you hit the, 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 the glass with it, it will just shatter quite easily, just a small piece. So they always break a small uh, ornaments here, then they put it between their fingers. Once they touch it, touch with it on the, on, on the glass, it will just shatter. Kanime added that vehicle's owners should be vigilant at all times. Evelyn Paulus, NBC News. Vendook.